Yeah. And um, Abby, we've had uh, recently the very controversial digital economy bill passed through. I'm wondering, has that been reflected much in this documentary, or what are your views, views on that? Uh, my view is personally, I think it's well immoral to just you know look at what people are looking at and. Mm. I think it's ass backwards the way that they're going about it. Kind of what they did when a knee-jerk reaction when the whole downloading thing, you know, happened. Like if if you research it, like Napster actually went to the record labels and say, yeah. "Hey, we've got this thing that is called file sharing, yeah. uh, and how about you guys like buy this business model and, and use it, and you'll have like the world as your you know your marketplace. Everyone mm. going to one place, and they're like, oh, this is level checkout. This is rubbish.'" And then when it did, it bit them in the bum. And then they were like, Christ, yeah, Christ Almighty. Yeah, and, and of course, yeah, the whole Metallica incident. Yeah. There was a backlash on that. Do you think this digital economy bill could cause more backlash because there are ways now to hide your IP address? And once you start doing that, you know, you're never going to be able to track the download. Well, yeah, people are going to go on dark nets. People are just going to, like, pay, you know, a minimum it's like fee. Five pound a month to hide your IP address. Yeah, and hide yeah. their IP addresses. And you know, a few people unfortunately will get caught, which is, you know, it's just, it, it's a weird thing because obviously I'm creating, you know, without sound like a pretentious asshole, I'm, I'm creating art. I'm, I'm doing my film. I'd be annoyed as fuck if someone leaked my film, hmm. you know, beforehand. Because, you know, I can understand the Metallica thing. You want control. It's, it's like your baby. But in the same breath, it's gonna happen, you hmm. know. And you kind of want as many people to see it as well you know and hear your music as well and it's a good promotional tool so i i know that side of the argument but in the same breath you know i wouldn't go into people's houses and sue them and say like oh, how dare you <laughs> yeah i mean like i think it's different because you know when you know you guys grew up it was sort of in this you know in your mind to, to buy a cd that was what you did but now kids oh, today yeah. they get the laptop they don't see it as just something a computer they see it you know I get a laptop, I get music, I get films, and it's not really in sort of their mind that they're doing anything wrong. Well, uh, yeah, I think I can speak with a bit of experience on that, yeah, because uh, being older than Ravi, as yes, I am, um, I mean, yeah, I mean, I mean, when I was buying music, that, that was what you, you had to do. I mean, if you wanted the tunes, you went out and bought a CD or a vinyl. Um, yeah, you had taping, you had home taping, but the quality just wasn't there. Yeah. So, you, you know, and you wanted something to hold and the, the, read the booklets and stuff. Yeah. And um, and now with my you know my son's at an age now where he's listening to music, and yeah, it, it, you can just go online, bang, and it's and you've got it, you've got what you want straight away. Even with the legal stuff like Spotify, with it. Well, yeah, we I mean we use Spotify, um, and there's one called Mflow we use as well, which is quite cool. Um, and we get a lot of stuff from them. And a good thing out of that, if there is a good thing, is that um, like I say, my boy is 11, and um, he his favourite bands at the moment. Feed it and Led Zeppelin. Okay. Now, when I was 11, um, mm. to me, it was whatever was in the charts at that time. Yeah. And I think it was like White Snake, you know, mm. <laughs> and that was the rock band that I liked because yeah. they were being, you know, the media was doing its job. Now, yeah, it's hey, where's the playing field? Well, I mean, yeah. like you know, it's it's not about and now. It's, it's it's not about you know a big behemoth beaming something at a mass audience. It's about that mass audience just picking what they want. Mm. I mean, you know, I've I've never agreed that you know for companies can own 75% of the world's music. Do you think it's going to be better for you know, more independence to get a share of that? I th well, I mean, the internet itself is a good leveller. I mean, you know, if you push things hard enough, you can get your tune out there. Mm. But you're right, I, I think that, um, you know, the big four are still going to do their bit and they're going to, you know, I mean, do the I big mean, brother. It could be big three soon, you know. Of it's, course, it's, yes. It's, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. It's, it's wavering, you know, a lot right now. Yeah. Um, it, do you think, like, an all-you-can-eat service will be a solution, you know, ten pound a month, there you go? Personally, yes. Um, I like, I mean, you say, we use uh, the Spotify and the M-Flows of this world. They're great. And, yeah. you know, we're happy to pay that. I think it's good value to get pretty much any tune you want. Yeah. Um, and you know you're not, you know, you're not breaking laws. And you know that the artist, all right, they, they might not get, you know, a ton of money from it, but they're getting what's, what their due is. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, 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 as a model, I like it. Yeah, yeah, I do. Because I think money going, you know, ten pound. If you pay ten pound a month, it's better to go back into the industry rather than what's going to go to, you know, uh, IP address, uh, you know, companies. Um, I mean, again, do you think we're going to hit that backlash in a couple of years? Well, yeah, definitely. I think like you know, uh, one of you know my bugbears is like lots of the sort of I'm a lefty, I'm a full-on you know Bill Hicksian freak, but uh, um, you know. 
sites, you know, torrent sites and whatnot, they do make money mm. off of other people's, you know, creative work. You know, so yeah. why shouldn't the artists, the filmmakers, the musicians, you know, the writers make money from, you know, hard work? I think people who work hard should, you know, get whatever they deserve, yeah. you know, and... You know, yeah, you know, all of the, the companies really need to, to kind of get together and stop arguing and kind of work things out. And maybe a business model like Spotify, but something that's more international because Spotify is central to, yeah. to UK and probably combine that with the, the ethos of Last FM. Because, I, you know, one of my arguments in the film is like, there's no filter. When I was a kid, like I said, I turn on TV and there's Frank Zappa and Fugazi and Captain Beefheart and Slayer. And when I was a kid, I didn't know I'd like Captain Beefheart and Slayer and Frank Zappa Ooh. and Fugazi. And because I heard that music, I was like, oh my God, yeah. I have to stop what I'm doing, bunk off school and <laughs> listen to Rain and Blood a million times. I need to listen to Tool all the time. And how do you know you'd like Tool or King yeah. Crimson or Rush or REM or whoever if you don't hear it from a filter? Like, it's awesome, Spotify. You can type in King Crimson, but you gotta know that you like King Crimson. You know mm. what I mean? So mm. you know that's the deal. And yeah. I think things like uh, Rock Band and Guitar Hero, it's proven there is a market. But both of those games have made over two billion dollars right. off of those games. So it shows that people, you know, the, the mainstream keeps saying, "Oh, rock is incredible. Rock can't be mainstream. These weirdy beardies, these long-haired people. But why the hell, you know, is a game?" like Guitar Hero and Rock Band making so much money. People like the music and, and that is a great medium because people here, you know, I, I don't know if King Crimson is on there, but I know Rush is on there mm. and I know Ozzy's on there and lots of classics and lots of new bands and I think that's bloody awesome. And I, yeah. that's what I want. I want a filter that people can kind of turn on and be like, Jesus Christ, I never knew about this. Yeah. And I'm turning people on and I'm always like, you know, if I'm driving in with my friends, I'm like, have you heard this? I play this for them. I mean, like, <laughs> it's, it's so good, actually, that the kids growing up today can have a, such a varied taste of music rather than just listening Absolutely. to what, yeah. you know, the labels would, would push out. Yeah, well, yeah, well, but yeah, exactly. I mean, as I said earlier, I mean, I mean, when I was, like, 11 years old, uh, the token rock bands for an 11-year-old to, like, literally were White Snake mm. and Status Quo. Mm. <laughs> that was it. Um, otherwise, it was just, just pure pop because that was what, that yeah. was the only access you had. As now, yeah, I mean, you, you know, as I said, my, I've got three sons, and because of uh, the uh, Guitar Hero game, um, my, my middle son loves Metallica. Mm. Now, you know, because he, cause he can play along with it. And yeah, because, probably because he's heard his dad play it quite a lot, you know, at, at home. But um, as Ravi's saying, yeah, that, that, that's a filter for them now, um, which, yeah, the, I mean, the, the, the playing field is changing. Yeah. It's great that they're hearing these bands and... and great you know classics like Ozzy and so on um, but again you look at the, the, the guitar hero and the rock bands of this world and, it, and you think to yourself well okay that's great it's brilliant that this is all coming through but what about the new bands what about you know what about the band in the garage over there that yeah. sound fantastic what, are they going to get onto the next rock band game well no they're yeah. not because you know the, the, the gaming uh, industry doesn't got a clue who they no, are so again yeah. you, you know it, we're, we're back into that circle again um, yeah, it's, it's uh, I don't know what the answer is. <laughs>